Hi, and welcome back to my channel, Beautiful Minutia. If you're new here, my name is Tiffany, and this is the first video I'm coming at you in my new library. And I did promise a bookshelf tour, but I'm not totally done yet because I have some book hauls to share, and I wanted to get those on the shelf. And I'm still kind of like messing with stuff, trying to figure out exactly where I want it. And it's like you don't want to share something if it's not perfect which is kind of silly. Anyways, there is nothing on the walls in here yet. It has hardwood floor, so this video may be a little echoey, and if it is, I apologize. Um, I'll try and see if the next one I film, hopefully I'll have some decorations up on the wall. I do have like a little rug on the floor, but it's really small, so um, it probably doesn't help all that much. <laughs> So anyways, let's get into the book haul. I have two book outlet orders here, both of which I ordered before we left our old house. One of which got there before and I didn't, I haven't even opened it. I just like packed it for the new house. And then the second one just got here today. It was like forwarded, so it took like an extra like week to get here. Books that I kind of got like last minute in Illinois. Um, <laughs> because like who can resist sometimes. Uh, some of them are like free books that I got from my library um, and my thrift store because I had like a coupon for like $5 off so I wasn't gonna let that go to waste. So yeah, let's dive into the book haul. Okay, so we're gonna start with some of our free books that we got here. So I got The Frog Princess by Edie Baker. I read The Wide Awake Princess by the same author and thought it was really fun, so I went ahead and picked this one up for my daughter. I also got The House of Mirth by Edith Wharton. I have not read any Edith Wharton, so I don't know if this is a good place to start or even if I'll like her at all, but it was free, so I picked it up. Uh, so if you have read any Edith Wharton, let me know your thoughts on this and if this is a good starting point for her. I also got Nim's Island, which Claire and I read this book together last year. I absolutely loved it. It is like a tiny little book um, with really short chapters and everything, but it's just a really fun, sweet book. It does have the movie cover, which is not my favorite thing, but when a book's free, I don't care that much. <laughs> I got Sarah Bishop by Scott O'Dell. Scott O'Dell wrote uh, Island of the Blue Dolphins, which absolutely loved as a child. In fact, I kind of want to reread it as an adult to see what I think of it now and if it holds up over time. Um, but I haven't read anything else by him. I didn't even know he wrote anything else, so I picked this one up. I also picked up The Fledgling by Jane Langdon. I don't know anything about this at all. It's a Newbery Honor book, and I feel like I heard someone mention it recently. I don't remember who, um, either as like a haul or a book that they recently read, so we'll see. I also found Pollyanna for free, and I was really excited because I've never read Pollyanna, but I remember the old movie with Hayley Mills in it. I watched that as a child and absolutely loved it, so I'm looking forward to reading the book. I got to The Invention of Hugo Cabaret by Brian Selznick, and I read this book back in February, I think, and then I read Wonderstruck in March, I think. I read, there's two months where I read Brian Selznick's back to back, um, and I liked Wonderstruck a lot better, but I still liked the invention of Hugo Cabaret and the illustrations are phenomenal. I think my daughter's really gonna enjoy it. Like these illustrations are just gorgeous. So it's like a thick book, but you've got like chunks of pictures with chunks of text and that's kind of intermixed. It's kind of a unique um, format for writing a story, which I really, really enjoy. It is missing the dust jacket and it looks like someone colored on the front a little bit, but again, free books. I also found some really like old antique looking books. I don't know if they're any good at all, but I thought if they're not, I have some like crafty plans for them. So this one is Two Years Before the Mass by Richard Henry Dana. And it is just like, it's old and it's gorgeous and it smells absolutely amazing. It doesn't have a date for when it was published. So I'm not sure, but yeah, it's a pretty book. 
And then I also have this one, which is The Peaceable Kingdom by somebody, Ardith Kennelly. Ever even heard that name? This was published in 1949, or at least this particular edition was. And it's just a pretty old book with deckled edges, and I really like it. Okay, now we're moving on to books we bought. Uh, so I have this book, which is the first conspiracy and it's about, I think, assassination plots against George Washington. My husband found this book when we went to Ollie's. I don't know if you have an Ollie's near you, but Ollie's is pretty cool. And sometimes you find really cool books. And this one had like, I don't know, it was marked down to like $4 or something like that. And my husband thought it sounded super interesting, so he wanted to pick this one up. This one's a thrift books book purchase. I got Memoirs of a Geisha because I am buddy reading this with Christy Lewis from Dostoevsky in Space and a ton of other people in August. So I needed to pick it up and it was on thrift books super cheap for a hardcover and it's like in basically new condition. So that's nice. I also got this super cute series. It's Lula and Todd Discovers. Um, I know this first one, this is the first one, Secret Behind the Door. And then there's Possibilities Beyond Imagination and A Brand New World. I don't know what order the other ones go in, um, but these were written by a pastor from our last church that we attended in Illinois. And she's a really amazing, really special lady, Judy Pickerel. And so these are children's books and I believe they're, I mean, I know they're Christian, but I don't know if they're like allegorical or if they're just like, specific Christian messages within it. So um, I'm looking forward to reading these and I'm pretty sure my daughter is going to as well. And it was pretty sweet because on our last Sunday she was there and um, we got her to sign the inside of all three of them, which is pretty sweet. So if she ever becomes famous someday because of these children's books, it can be like, oh, yeah, I know her. And I have auto autographed copies of her books. So that's really fun. Okay, now we're gonna get into the book outlet orders and I'm gonna have to stop stacking here because I'm kind of running out of room and it's really top heavy. I didn't pay attention to which ones I put down first. Oh well. Okay, so these book outlet orders are just like a little bit of everything. So last month I read Mere Christianity and I've talked about that quite a bit on my channel during the month of May. Um, and book outlet had a whole bunch of C.S. Lewis books that I don't have. So I got The Dark Tower and Other Stories. These are short stories by him. I got The World's Last Night and Other Essays. And then I got Of Other Worlds, Essays and Stories. These are all pretty thin little books and some of them may have excerpts from other books or whatever, but I was fine with that. I am really looking forward to checking these out. I have I, I have gotten The Dark Tower and other stories from the library before and read like one or two of the short stories, but I haven't read the other ones, so I'm interested in that. Next up, I have a few historical books that I got from my husband for either, um, I don't know, his birthday is coming up in July, Father's Day is coming up pretty soon, um, I could even save them for Christmas or whatever, so we'll see what they're for. Um, but I got, they're both David McCullough books. He read 1776 and I absolutely loved it, loved how it was written. So as I've been finding them for good prices on Book Outlet, I've been purchasing them. So I got The Path Between the Seas and this is about the Panama Canal. And then I got The Johnstown Flood. So these are both um, just history books. One is much larger than the other. So those are for my husband. I also got a few books for my daughter. Her birthday's coming up in August and I saw these and she loves these. These are Nathan Hale's Hazardous Tales. Um, and she has three or four of these and these are ones she didn't have. And brand new since they're all like hardcover format, they're usually like, I don't know, usually anywhere from like 10 to $13. And Book Outlet had them for like five each. And they are really great. Each one of them covers just a different historical time period and they're all written in graphic novel format. So we've got The Raid of No Return, which is from World War II, Big Bad Iron Cloud, which is the Civil War, and Major Impossible, which is about the Grand Canyon. Some other middle grade books I got is, I got 
The Story of the Treasure Seekers by Edith Nesbitt. I don't love Edith Nesbitt. I read um, The Railway Children and Five Children in It with Claire and didn't really like either of them. I did like, I think it's the, called The Enchanted Castle. That one I liked. It's logged in places. Because Edith Nesbitt is super wordy. Um, it's logged in places, but I did overall like this story. So I don't know if I'll like this one or not, but Claire has enjoyed reading the other two books in the series of uh, Five Children and It. So hopefully she'll enjoy this one as well. I still got The Light in the Lake, which I have mentioned on my channel, I think only once before when I did my mugs and books um, video. And this book is wonderful. It's about this girl and her twin brother has died and he drowned in the lake that they grew up always swimming at and loved so much. And so it's really her grappling with grief and her parents and her whole family grappling with grief. But it also deals with like environmental issues. Um, and there's even kind of like a very small like magical element to it as well. So it definitely top tackles a lot of different topics and I felt like it did it really well. I was like a blubbering mess when I read this book because it's definitely very heavy and hard hitting I think for a middle grade. So I think it's probably more for upper end of middle grade, um, but obviously every child is different. I got The Goose Girl by Shannon Hale and I stinking love this book so much. It, I don't know if it's my favorite Shannon Hale. I think Princess Academy might be, but this is right up here. This is like a five star book when I read it. A couple years ago and I absolutely absolutely loved it. Uh, it's a retelling of a very obscure fairy tale called The Goose Girl which I had never heard of before. I still have not read that fairy tale. I probably need to try and find it. Um, and it's the first in her series. I think it's called The Books of Bairn and there's four in the series and I read Goose Girl and then I read the second one which is Anna Burning and I didn't like that one. Um, it was much darker and didn't have like any character development really at least I didn't think so um so I never continued the series but really you can read Goose Girl on its own and it's complete it's good enough like uh the main character in Goose Girl the princess I forget what her name is Ani um or Annie I don't know it's A-N-I so it could be either one she is in Anna Burning and she might be in the subsequent books um, but Anna is a character in this first book, so it more follows Anna's story, but Princess Annie slash Ani is along for the ride in certain parts of it too, but Goose Girl is like a contained enough story. It doesn't leave you on a cliffhanger where you feel like you have to read the rest of the series to find out what happens next. I also got this book, The Faithful Spy. It's about Dietrich Bonhoeffer. This is a children's book. Um, I saw Chantelle at an intentional life haul this book and I was so intrigued by it that I had to get it. Um, it's very like colorful. I don't think it's technically like a graphic novel because there's lots of other information in there, but I really like the colorful way that it's laid out. I don't really know very much about Dietrich Bonhoeffer other than that he was born in Germany and he came to the United States. He was a pastor and he saw everything that was going on with Hitler and felt like he needed to move back to Germany to like stand up against the Nazi regime. And I could be wrong about this, but I think he might have been involved in some sort of plot to assassinate Hitler, but I'm not sure. <laughs> so this is really technically for my daughter, but I really wanna read it too. I have a couple books here that are for Claire in school when she gets quite a bit older. I think it's more for like upper, junior high to high school. So we've got Rediscovering George Washington, Founding Father by Richard Brookheiser, obviously about George Washington. And then I've got Common Sense by Thomas Paine. And every time I hear the title of this, I just think of Hamilton. I've been reading Common Sense by Thomas Paine. Someone say that I'm intense or I'm insane. Like that's what I think every time I see this. So do I have any other Hamilton fans watching this? Uh, but I'm kind of bummed because if you can see, the cover's kind of like, it looks like there was a sticker here that then got like torn off or something because it's not actual like 
damage to the inside or anything. So it's kind of a bummer, but um, every once in a while that happens. I think I've had one other book that has been like very mildly damage that I've gotten from Book Outlet, but the rest are pretty much like in new condition. So I think I got it for like two or three dollars. So I'm still not really complaining because it's a very cheap edition, but it's a really pretty cover if it wasn't for that. Next, I have some classics and I bet that you're shocked that I have a nice little stack of classics here. So the last time I was on Book Outlet, they had quite a few of the Macmillan Collector's Library books. And these books, they're tiny. They're like kind of like pocket editions. But they are so pretty and I wish I kind of had all the books in this because they look great on a shelf together, but they're just kind of random books. <laughs> so I got Don Quixote. Um, see the edges are gilded and it is like obviously very small. Um, but I don't feel like the print is insanely tiny. Like I look at it and I can see it just fine. So I think it's fine, but I just think they're really pretty and they've got like, I don't know if you can kind of see the design on there. Um, they're kind of prettier with the dust jackets with like the gold and the blue. So we got Don Quixote, Agnes Grey by Anne Bronte, and The Mill on the Floss by George Eliot, which I started trying to read once, and I ended up DNFing it. Um, and I think it was just because I wasn't in the right kind of mood for it, because it wasn't bad, and there's nothing about it that I hated. It was just kind of like it had been like 100 pages or so, and like nothing had happened, and I just wanted to read something else. And George Eliot is kind of, she's very slow paced and very character based. Middle March is the same kind of thing. It just takes place, it talks about families and takes place over, I don't even know how many years, decades. Um, and so it's just more about the people than it is about an actual plot. And I kind of have to be in the mood for those. But yes, these are all hardcover and like when you put them together, they are so pretty. And I saw on Amazon that they had Middlemarch by George Eliot in the same edition, but it was just, um, it was cheaper there than it was on Book Outlet. So I might have to get the same edition of that. I also got notes from Underground. Yeah, I thought it was from the Underground, but it's just from Underground by Dostoevsky. If you've been here for very long, you know that I really, really love Dostoevsky. So I'm super excited about this. This is much shorter than his other books. I don't know if it qualifies as like a novella. It is over 100 pages, so I'm not really sure. But I really like Dostoevsky, so I'm excited about that. And then more Russian literature, I got a collection of short stories by Tolstoy. I don't know exactly what's in here. So inside it has Family Happiness. The Kreutzer Sonata, The Devil, and Father Sergius. I didn't need one that had the death of Ivan Illich. That's like his most popular novella, I think, um, which I'm actually reading right now. But I had that in like a separate book, so I really, I didn't need a short story collection that included that one, so. I'm excited about this one. I haven't read a ton of Tolstoy. I've read a lot more Dostoevsky. Um, but I have read Anna Karenina and I'm reading The Death of Ivan Illich right now. I need to read War and Peace at some point, but I haven't yet. So if any of you want to read War and Peace at some point, um, maybe towards the end of this year, beginning of next year kind of deal, I would be up for a buddy read to help keep me accountable. <laughs> and then last, I got two Anne of Green Gables books. I love these Tundra editions. I love the the cover on them but I have like the whole collection of Anne of Green Gables except for these two books so I only got these two so they still don't match the edition I have this is the edition that I have um, which I really like the covers of these a lot but for some reason this edition has all the books except for Anne of Ingleside and Anne of Windy Poplars so I got this because they're similar sizes, so even though the spines aren't the same, they're better than these like super vintage copies I had, which are not even close to the same size. So that's what I went with because I couldn't bring myself to buy the entire whole series when like earlier this year I got 
all of them in this. And if I had known that they didn't even sell this edition or sell those two books in this edition, then I wouldn't have bought this edition. <laughs> I would have bought them all in like this, this Tundra edition. So, oh well. I also got this Agatha Christie book after the funeral. I have read this one and I pretty sure I remember enjoying it. And then last, but certainly not least, I got A Rhythm of War by Brandon Sanderson. I'm hoping to start Way of King soon and I don't have any of the other books in the series, but this one, I'm pretty sure this is the newest one and it's a hardcover and it was only like seven or eight dollars. And so I was like, yes, I definitely need to get that. <laughs> So I went ahead and bought this because I'm like, I'm not going to find it at this good of a price again. So I went ahead and got this too. So that is it for this edition of Book Haul. So I would love to hear from you down in the comments uh, if you have read any of these books before and if you have, which ones you think I should prioritize reading. I mean, there's a few of them that I've read semi-recently, like The Invention of Hugo Cabaret and The Light in the Lake. Those are both ones that I've read like semi-recently. Um, but I have a lot of them that I haven't read at all yet. So I would love to hear from you to see which ones of these you have enjoyed and that you think I should prioritize maybe more than the other ones. If you like this video, please hit like and also subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.